Listen, boys, I understand. Frankie Boy knows more than everyone else about diet and nutrition. He knows everything there is to know, and everyone has to copy every single thing I do and say as the holy grail. And for some reason, those same people pretend I don't exist. Problem is, said people don't know 10% of what I know about health and nutrition, and therefore misunderstand the applications and context of whatever I suggest. In this case, adding honey to a carnivore diet. I do find it funny how several weeks after I publish certain videos that people suddenly start discovering what was in my video. They just started trying new things. It's new and exciting, such as adding honey to the carnivore diet. As pathetic and sad as these people are, you know, they're just trying to maintain relevancy. And I understand when you're not smart and handsome and hardworking, what else can you do besides copy the person that is doing all the work for you? But by doing so, they're harming people's health. For those of you that haven't seen my recent day of eatings, I showed you guys I was consuming several hundred grams of carbohydrates worth of honey every single day. That's roughly 15 tablespoons of honey, aka a jar of honey every day. And for any of you that have been in nutrition a little while, you're thinking, Frank, a jar of honey, that's a little crazy. And you're absolutely right, but apparently not everyone has an IQ high enough to understand that and, and you know, look into other things before just copying what I'm doing. I thought I made it pretty clear in those bodybuilding, those day of eating videos that I wasn't doing that for health. It was purely for bodybuilding. And I even acknowledged several times it's not healthy and I don't feel good doing it. I explicitly said that. It's not like I was implying it. Plus, I also said several times I'm doing extra things behind the scenes I'm not showing you guys to make it less harmful. And the reason I'm not showing you guys those things is because they would have been copied as well. One thing I forgot to add in here is that these people don't deserve to be mentioned, acknowledged in any capacity whatsoever, mainly because they refuse to talk about what's going on in the world right now. In fact, they're actually part of the agenda and under no circumstance will these people that are copying me tell the truth about why we're locked inside, why half the grocery store shelves are empty. They will not talk about it. So the fact that I'm even addressing this, pretending like I'm associating with these people, it's ridiculous, it's inappropriate, and all of these influencers, the majority of these influencers on all social media platforms are a part of this group of people that is just trying to deceive you to make money, keep you sick. But again, you know, a unique scenario like me comes along, they have to blend in and take bits and pieces here and there. Not only did I make it clear that I'm doing this for bodybuilding and it's not healthy, I emphasized the reason I can no longer eat animal fat is because of my iron overload issues. You know, your liver is stored with iron. When the liver produces bile to digest fat, iron is released in that bile. So if I consume animal fat, I get this toxic bile coming out of my liver and I feel like crap. If I reduce my fat intake, the liver can detox it naturally in the blood when I donate blood. So I reduced the fat intake in my diet, swapped it with carbohydrates in the form of honey. As much as I've tried to explain this unique bodybuilding scenario with liver damage as the reason I'm using honey, it still hasn't stuck with people that you shouldn't really be doing it. Who in their right mind would think it's okay to eat 300 grams of sugar worth of honey every day? Does anyone with half a brain think it's okay to consume that much fructose? Do I really have to explain this? Just think of honey from a logical standpoint. It's a food we would have procured in fairly small amounts and frequently throughout the year. You know, I'm arguably eating a year's worth of honey in one day from an ancestral context. There's no way someone that's thinking straight is going to recommend anyone consume honey as a predominant carbohydrate source for too many reasons. As I said, I haven't been disclosing everything to you guys because of these copycats. Essentially, by showing only part of my day, these idiots ate up the honey trap, and I've proved their plagiarism in the past by intentionally lying about certain things, that they copied my lies and it wasn't true, but, but no one really seemed to care. I'm not going to say specifically what I'm doing in addition to consuming honey. You know, am I taking digestive enzymes? Am I taking certain vitamins and minerals to counteract the high sugar intake? Am I taking liver support stuff? Am I taking certain probiotic bacteria? 
Am I doing something special to the honey itself? Am I not even eating honey? Who knows, will we ever find out? And unfortunately, that's not gonna be today, but I will probably tell you guys in a little while. Uh, but I will explain further why honey is not good and what other carbohydrate options you have. First, let's understand why I chose honey in the first place. And I doubt any of these clowns explain this. White sugar is sucrose, which requires a sucrase enzyme to be broken down into glucose and fructose. Honey itself is already broken down because it's half glucose and half fructose. So your body gets readily available glucose and then the fructose is processed in the liver. So it's basically a source of direct energy nutrition that the body does not have to do anything extra for. It doesn't have to digest it. It doesn't have to produce enzymes. This fructose to glucose ratio in honey is pretty much as good as it gets from a natural foods perspective. There are some fruits that have a 50-50 glucose to fructose ratio as well. And I think fruits are a much better option than honey. Uh, here I actually have some uh, grapes that my sister's eating. And like organic grapes are probably the most affordable and accessible fruit. Uh, you also have kiwis and cherries. Those have a fairly good glucose to fructose ratio that's similar to honey, uh, followed by bananas if you tolerate starchier fruits. This is where we start asking, you know, are starches like potatoes better than honey because, you know, more of them is digested into glucose than fructose? You know, again, it depends on the person. And I think at the top of the list is going to be those fruits because they have vitamins, minerals, and hydration that honey does not. If you compare how you feel after eating 100 grams of sugar worth of grapes versus honey, those are two very different things. You know, the honey kind of knocks you out, gives you like an insulin spike, you feel kind of tired, and people generally don't have the same reaction to fruit. So without telling you guys what I specifically do, what I'm actually doing, this is my suggestion. Try some fruits. You can try potatoes and certain grains if you want, but I think most of you guys will feel better with the correct fruits. The main reason I've stuck to honey over fruit is mainly to stay carnivore, but by the end of this year, early next year, I don't think I will be carnivore anymore. I'm still using it temporarily to fix my iron overload issues. Before you start sucking down sugar like it's the end of the world, remember, I removed fat from my diet. Very, very lean meat. If you combine sugar and fat, the majority of you will get dysbiosis gut issues, bacteria overgrowth, candida, SIBO, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, as well as small intestinal fungal overgrowth, SIFO. The body is not meant to handle large amounts of carbs and fats at the same time. So if you follow a typical carnivore diet of ribeye steak that's relatively fatty and throw honey in there, it's pretty much a recipe for dysbiosis. The combination of the fatty red meat, the high sugar honey, plus the iron in the meat is perfect for candida overgrowth. Pathogens love iron. Combine that with a lack of copper, too much cooked food, say hello to a fungal infection. There's also the stress of the fructose itself. It can definitely lead to a fatty liver under certain circumstances, and you also have fructose malabsorption when consuming very high amounts of it. The liver can only process so much, and you'll end up with what we said, the bacterial overgrowth, the dysbiosis, the gut issues, or if you're lucky, just some diarrhea. But if you do this consistently, you will eventually get issues. If you consistently combine high fat with high sugar, you know, you might be okay the first few times you do it, but then as soon as you get that overgrowth, so just to summarize, the reason I've been allegedly consuming honey is because I'm trying to maintain a reasonable energy level despite the health problems I have at the moment from iron overload. I don't feel good consuming honey. I honestly don't feel good consuming food in general. And I would rather switch over to fruit, something that has more water soluble vitamins, minerals, that's a more complete food that you would feel much better eating. Again, I'm trying to maintain the carnivore diet image, at least temporarily, it makes sense. You know, what's the point of eating meat and fruit right now if I don't really like fruit, I don't wanna have to access fruit and honey's doing the job right now. Very, very important, if you decide to incorporate carbohydrates into your diet that the fat intake is lowered. As I said, stick to leaner meats, leaner cuts, replace those fat sources with carbohydrate calories, you know, even move to like pasture-raised veal if you have access to it, something that's lower in iron. If you combine fat and sugar in large amounts consistently, you will get gut issues. And again, you might be able to get away with it once a week. Some people 
might be super lucky and never get gut issues, but there are people out there that will eat some honey and a steak and have their stomach ruined for months. And I'm sure there's a couple people in the comments raising their hands right now, that's me. I want it to be very clear that I unintentionally misled people about what I was doing, but they picked it up at face value and ran with it. You know, in turn, their lack of understanding of nutrition as a whole has put me in a position where I have to try to prevent people from getting sick. You know, what's gonna end up happening is those people are gonna suggest, oh, add honey to your carnivore diet, the people are gonna have problems, then who knows, are they gonna go to them for consultations or whatever and ask them for further advice when they're the person that got them sick in the first place? I don't know. In the future, I will go over the things I am doing for my bodybuilding when I'm ready, when gyms open up, when I launch my workout routine. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let's see what they copy next. It's unfortunate that they won't talk about what's going on in the world, despite half of my videos being about, you know, this new infrastructure and how we're all gonna get fried like chickens, but I guess they just wanna steal the information I have about honey. Uh, so you guys know how to support me down below in the comments. Definitely share the video, definitely share the channel, and uh, thank you guys for, for letting me know that, you know, these people are stealing my ideas and, and my dietary stuff. Uh, usually I have to find out myself.